Gained or a couple of points lost today. Are you pleased with the point you've got here? Oh, I think it's uh, away from home. The, um, the, manner, uh, the manner of the game, you'd say, is, is definitely a pointer. Um, no, no, no points uh, in this in this division um, are are given away. So it's definitely definitely a pointer. And coming here, uh, I, I know the football club uh, here. I know this is a difficult place to come to yeah. as well. And I thought first half, I think if we got a goal, then I think that might have put some of the the jitters. Uh, or uncertainty behind them. I know they've got a new manager syndrome and everything like that, and people say. But I think you know, if we've got a goal within the first 30 seconds with Sam hitting the crossbar, yeah, yeah. that might have just set a little bit of um, uh, anxiety you know, back amongst the players. And again, I think the first half, I think we had the probably the best three chances of the game. I'm saying that second half, they had probably the best three chances of the, uh, of the game. But uh, I take your point, you had a number of chances to, to lead in the first half, but to dig out a point having trailed in the way you were and you were a little bit on the back foot at nil one, it's a decent result, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And I think it shows the character, shows the bravery and the honesty within the group. The, the things weren't going our way, but again, it's a difficult pitch, difficult, uh, difficult conditions with the, uh, I think the referee's going to need a new whistle for, for Christmas. Because I, think, yeah, I think it seemed like every 20 seconds he was blowing it. Yeah. Um, was he blowing it too much? Well, again, he's blowing it for what, for, for what he sees. I think it was a, a very competitive game. I think they've got some big, strong boys. We've got some big, strong boys. In it, and I think there was some, some honest uh, uh, competition for, for the ball. And again, can't take that away from either, either teams. It was a very competitive game. Um, when I spoke to you after the Exeter game, I said, were well, the Cobblers' goals avoidable? Were the Cobblers' goals are considered avoidable? You said all goals are avoidable. You're probably going to say the same to me about the Cobblers' goal today. What, the, the one conceded? Yeah, the one conceded. Yeah, definitely. Uh, depending on the time it all, do you want your phone check? Just, no, it's just, it's just anxiety of dropping two away from the It's something about Christmas as well. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, no, you have a look. The set, the, the set was wrong from our throwing because they were able to throw it into the lad. He was able to bring the ball down on his chest and get turned uh, and get within shooting range and, and let one go. So there's lots of things within that. Uh, that wrong. I take it on board, making a couple of substitutions. Roles and, re roles and uh, responsibilities do change, but again, too easy to get the throwing into somebody's chest. The worst way you let the ball go back, you don't let him play it forward. But Harry Smith, uh, inspired substitution, he comes on and gets you a, a vital equaliser, a good assist also from Nicky Adams. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's a common thread that we get the ball in Nicky in wide areas, which again, that's something I don't think we did well enough uh, or often enough at, the, at times, getting, giving Nicky the ball with quality in the right areas, because uh, the lab will, uh, will climb up that assist chart as he does it uh, year in, year yeah. out. And we're getting that understanding now again when, uh, about our movements. I think there could have been a couple of penalties, because some, some of the marking in the, in the box was... Um, if you went by the letter of the law, I think there was a, they were infringe, uh, infringements against our players when Paul's coming. They, you know, they know that we're uh, quite attack minded for our set pieces and we have decent movement, so they tried nullifying that and grabbing hold of our players. And again, which to the letter of the law, you're not allowed to do. I think if he'd been slightly better placed, he might have seen somebody infringe. Infringements. It's a fairly hostile environment, it's not always easy, I guess, to give penalties to the opposition. No, but again, I, don't, I, don't, um, I, I know what this place is like when you, when you get it rocking as yeah. well. Um, and likewise, I know what it's like when things aren't quite going the, your way as well. So, so again, no, the referee, referee, referee the game, like I say, I think he made uh, honest decisions for the ones that he saw. Alan McCormack lasted just over an hour. You took him off. Has he picked up a recurrence of a knock or is it was just a tactical switch? No, no, th that was a plan because he's, he's been, uh, he hasn't been able to train fully uh, to the standards that he, uh, that he wants to do. So we've had to have limited tra training time or time, time on the grass. So the plan before the game, I, sp I spoke to Alan yesterday, I said, I need an hour out of you. Um, and, and again, it's begun. we go back onto, a, not, 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 so much, not, not so much, it's player welfare. You know, I know what I can get out of Alan uh, and again, I need it week in, week out. The more times I can start games with Alan McCormack on the team sheet, uh, the more impact he, uh, he will have on games. And again, now we go back to where we were a couple of weeks ago, where we need to build that game time up again. So he'll have a couple of games for an hour, uh, and then we go 90, sorry, and then we go 75, 80s, 90s, and, and maintaining that time on the train, on the training pitch, on, uh, on the pitch. And then the more time he has that, then he builds that time, uh, that, that time earned playing back up.